So in this video I'm going to uh, set the valve timing up, uh, do a basic assembly and see if we can get this little steam engine running. So for this initial test I'm going to uh, try and do the assembly without any gaskets or any graphite yarn on the piston uh, or any gland packing. Now um, to set the timing up uh, you should always turn the flywheel clockwise and should start off by positioning the slide valve uh, in between the threads. Now the idea is to position the crosshead as close to the cylinder as possible and just starting the push stroke. So if we do a full cycle, so we're just starting there to approach the push stroke. Now at that point the valve should start to be just start to move forward from left to right. Now chances are it won't be doing that. So what you need to do is to loosen the grub screw off the eccentric sheave and then turn the eccentric sheave clockwise until you actually get that movement just coming forward. Then you need to lock the grub screw. Having done that, you need to detach um, the uh, valve rod and adjust the valve rod either left or right so it's just exposing the left hand port so effectively what's happening here is you're coming out to the push stroke the port just starts to open steam will go in and it will push the stroke off Likewise on this side now, the fact that the left hand side has been uh, addressed, what should happen once you're at the right hand side, as soon as you're coming off that stroke, the left hand, sorry, the right hand port should just start to get exposed, which it is. That's allowing the return stroke uh, to be pushed back by steam. So I hope that makes sense. Um, but all in all, it, it's not that complicated, and it probably only took me five minutes to uh, to get this set up. So um, what I'll do is uh, I'll assemble it, and uh, I'll get back to you. Well, this is it. I promise I've not tried this before. This is the first time. Connect that to there, I think. No, connect that to there. <laughs> Okay, see if this helps. Well, I'm uh, getting a lot of leaking air around here. Uh, so I, I think I need to put the gaskets on. Well, upon examination, uh, I was getting a lot of air leaking out this side, even with the gasket on. Uh, but I've put a bit of oil in there and tightened these studs down a bit more. So uh, we'll give it a try. You see here, I've got air escaping. I'm not too sure what the solution is there. I mean, I've put a gasket in. Um, not put any gaskets on this side of the cylinder and obviously I've not got any gland packing I'll give it a try Hey! Gland that's coming away That's not bad.
ticks over quite nicely. I think I've managed to um, address the leaks and uh, I can't hear any air coming out of uh, any of the joints and it's ticking over nicely and there's hardly any pressure coming out of the compressor so I'm very happy with that Well, I'm absolutely amazed how that's turned out. Um, for valve timing, I just followed Tubal Kane's instructions and it just seemed to work first time. Uh, I, I thought it'd be a really sort of difficult process. And uh, I, I mean, I'm sure that people who've got the right ear uh, for steam engines would probably say it needs fine tuning, but it does seem to run very well. Um, also, bearing in mind, that uh, the piston's got no graphite yarn on it uh, whatsoever and uh, I'm missing a gasket here um, it does run uh, under very low pressure and I'll show you for example now I don't want to blow a gasket <laughs> uh, but anyway um, I hope you like the results so far and my next video um, will show you the completed item so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip it all down, uh, do a paint job on it, uh, build it all up again um, with you know the graphite yarn on the piston and all the gaskets in place and uh, I'll show you the result then. So I hope to see you later.